Hey, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use HTML error messages. HTML error messages are used to display or modify the test reports. Let's say sometimes you want to display display the test report depending on the requirement. That time HTML reports are very useful. And the syntax is very simple. Just we need to start the coding with star HTML followed by star and afterward we can directly write in HTML code. Okay, so let's start coding. First we need to create an AMT robot file. Okay, and so uh, I already created one file which contains the following test cases. Here you can see I have already created three test cases from line number four to line number 15. In this case, we can have we can see the three test cases. The line number one, two, three that is contained just a documentation string, setting string. So in this case, we don't need to import any, we don't need to add any libraries. It's already present in a built-in library. Okay, and it is by default imported. So I will explain that. In, uh, test case steps one by one so let's start with line number five the test case without html error in this case we are just displaying a failed message without any modification the default display will be displayed okay and the line number nine the test case with html error messenger for failed scenarios so so this test case is for displaying the uh, displaying the reports with the, for failed scenarios uh, normally we will expect the error message should be in red color so how we can write by using html error messages so the first step will be from line number 11 i have written efl fail space then afterward i have started writing the html error messages that is star html star followed by html any code in this case i am using the h1 header followed by style color is color is red and afterward the text is test case is failed so now it's does done similarly you can write any html code according to your requirement or wherever you want okay this was done now the third test case test case with html error for past scenarios this is similar as above one but in this case just we have changed the color of the text so in this case we can see the line number 15 i'm I am passing the pause execution command and afterward star HTML star followed by HTML code. In this case, we are the same thing. We are using H1 header with style color is equal to green and that's all. Similarly, we can write any code after star HTML star and followed by code. So let's start running this program. Now go to command prompt and run the program. So the first thing I need to pass is a robot. Robot is a key. Robot is a command for running the robot test cases. Followed by minus d. Minus d is for uh, we we are mentioning where I need to save the my reports. So normally I will save in a c colon followed by knowledge hub slash uh, reports okay then afterward name of the robot file so this is html error message just dot robot now afterward just click on enter button yep i think the test case are passed and i can see the my reports in uh, reports in c colon knowledge hub reports slash reports dot html just I will copy this link and I will go to browser and I am going to display. Yep, the test case has executed. Now you can able to see here HTML error messages. Button, click on the error button. Yes. Now after this one, we can able to see we have executed three test cases. One with HTML. Uh, without HTML error messages, with HTML message for failed scenario and with HTML for past scenario. In this case, we have seen the message is displayed in a plain text, whatever is the default is present. But in the second and third case, we are displaying in a different color with a uh, 
different style and different size so if we go to the locks also you can able to see the test case in a red color and for past scenario also you can able to see the color color change yep and and this one is for we are not using any html error messages we are just displaying the plain text yep 